Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a new video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. Uh, in this tip video I'd like to talk about something related to film effects and uh, it's a really interesting feature uh, we have in the latest uh, film effects version and uh, I'm talking about the film effects burn. The film effects burn is really useful to create the, the effects of the uh, fire and the smoke uh, over a mesh due to the head accumulation over the surface. Uh, the plugin works using the vertex color channel, so it's really useful to uh, use uh, the vertex color map to render these effects. Let's try to have, for example, uh, a really simple mesh as a cylinder. Uh, let's create it there. Okay. And uh, uh, let's move it and we have a cylinder of 10 centimeters, it's too little. Uh, let's say that it's uh, 50 centim uh, sorry, 50 centimeters. Uh, I, I'm doing the wrong stuff. Okay, uh, so one meters for half, something around uh, 10 centimeters, maybe uh, five centimeters, okay. Um, we need uh, a fire emitter, so let's go in the helper film effects, and we can use uh, a simple source, and we can give it a box, so it will be something like that. Okay, let's check the scene. Okay, we have it and we can rotate it in this way so we can move it there and I like to change the color let's use uh, uh, for example the white I like to change the color using the fire so we need to create the film effects okay and we have the space let's do something like that and now we need to open the film effects and I like to save the simulation, the cache in the right folder so we can save it there and let's call it fire tip and we can use 100 frames, maybe 200 frames and let's change the animation there so end time will be 200 and inside the simulation I don't like to have the smoke for the moment just the fuel and let's add this one sorry let's pick this source and let's go there let's open the preview window and inside the viewport we'll have the fire visible and let's see what happen? Let's try to simulate. I have to check it. Let's go back. Okay, now we have the fire. I moved the uh, the emitter there. Okay, let's uh, fix a little bit how it looks. So let's go inside the simulation and let's say that we like to have a little bit of uh, turbulence. Let's say it's 0 0.5 meters and the scale will be uh, 30 centimeters with more detail. Let's try 3 and let's say that the burner rate is a little bit lower let's see what we have okay you see that we have too much turbulence so let's go there and let's say 0 0.05 really low turbulence okay and again lower turbulence sorry 
and I like also to have uh, let's have a little scale there and let's have a longer burning okay let's go back to the previous preset something like that and we have there the temperature balance let's go for half okay now we can move to an higher level there let's go for two and let's see also there the object we have fuel 100 let's see if we have more fuel uh, it's the maximum and the temperature is the maximum for the moment let's see what do we have there and I mean that's a little bit better than before it was done really fast so I think it can be okay okay cancel so you see that we are touching this object and let's see what we can do uh, let's set there okay so we see just some some area and to have the uh, map coloring where the flame are touching the object we need to use the film effects burn and you see that it needs to select the film effects environment then we can set show and shade it to see how it is touching and for the moment we cannot touch everything there let's say just to use the fire and let's see what happened so let's go back to simulate let's wait that the flame will be over the mesh there just playing animation it's really really low you see we see there a little bit of gray but it is changing so um, let's try to have for example an higher strength and later we see all the parameters together uh, let's say 0 0.5 for example uh, let's go back there and inside the parameters we have to say for the simulation let's simulate until 200 and let's see what happened you see that now we have more black there see there also the black deer and now also there so it is working let's stop just for the moment let's see the animation and you see that it is coloring where the fire uh, will touch let's use more uh, segments to see how it looks in a different way and again back to simulate Let's wait that the, f uh, the flame will touch the object. Obviously, uh, this plugin is using the uh, vertex color map, so you need more face and more vertices to be more precise over this map. So you see that now we have more detail. Let's wait. Let's wait until the end and then I can explain all the parameters. And I'm sure we'll use it on a future tutorial, so it's just for the moment an introduction to know that we can use 
a plugin like this one to work on the shader of these objects to show what the fire is doing over the mesh and the material so you can simulate the burning effects over the map and that's really really interesting and really good um, what we can do there uh, we have the possibility to select more uh, film effects voxel space we can show or not show the map we can shade or not you see we can invert so we have white where the fire is touching the body and black where we have no fire then we have there the uh, channel and other stuffs interesting for the common value the channel is the uh, vertex color channel where we store the information of the fire and the other things and uh, if you want you can change the uh, map channel using also the vertex color map dialog box we have then the search distance the search distance is uh, the distance where the film effects burn modifier will search for the fire or the other information for from the film effects voxel grid and uh, it will search for it and for example if we have there 1.5 it means that it is searching for 1.5 voxel space so you have to remember the uh, size of the voxel space you have there so that's the measure and if we say 1.5 we mean 1.5 times the space we set in the film effects then we have the fade and the fade parameters uh, will control uh, uh, how much fast the uh, object will uh, remove the fire and the temperature effects over um, over the material so you can simulate with this parameter uh, some objects that will be uh, more will have more head temperature and uh, then will be back to cold temperature we have the spread and the spread uh, uh, is uh, the possibility to simulate how the temperature will spread over the over the mesh you see that now we have no spread if you have more spread you have more uh, blurred effects over the material there so we have not just temperature there but also a spread of temperature over the surface and then we have the blur and the blur is just the smoothing between the point that are colored and the vertex channel then we have the possibility to choose between the control of temperature and if you enable the temperature you will control how the temperature of the film effects box of space will change and control the uh, vertex channel over uh, this mesh so you can control the temperature using a map over the shader you see the mean and the maximum and that's the temperature so minimal temperature and max temperature and the strength of the coloring then we have the fire using the fire as we done in this way you are controlled just if the uh, fire is touching the body of the uh, of the mesh so you can also have different film effects bar to control different map for different effects and you have the minimum and the maximum so we have 0 0.1 fire and 1 fire and we have the strength to control how much strength we have over the map then we have the smoke and the smoke works in the same way it's working the fire that means that we are saying uh, when the smoke is touching the body and that's really useful to control for example uh, the blackness due to the smoke over the surface so as you see uh, it's a really simple and powerful uh, effects that can be used to control really interesting uh, map control or with film effects and it's really really useful in a future tutorial we see how to apply it on a complex simulation with fire and smoke so for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check new tutorials coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.